He is Ernie Johnson back here on the show. How are you, Ernie? Which I'm outstanding, man. Welcome uh, from San Antonio. It's uh, been a wonderful, uh, wonderful weekend here, man. Really, really cool. And uh, and thanks for the kind words on the partnership too. We've uh, had a great time with CBS. And, Finishing up our eighth year, man, and it's uh, going to be fun tonight, man. I know you're going to be watching. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have my chair pulled up. Uh, so in terms of the coverage uh, between Turner and CBS, does Raftery uh, send the receipt for his new glasses to CBS or to David Levy at Turner? Who who does he send that to? How does I that think that's got to be coming – that's got to be coming our way because the game was on TBS, mm. and so, uh, okay, so I, that's, would, I would. Uh, that's how it works. Yeah, I would say. Mm. I, I, I I'm not a, a legal mind by any means, <laughs> but uh, that's that's where I, that's what I would say. Where were you working, Mr. Raftery? Well, I was on TBS that night. Mm. Okay, uh, Mr. Levy, uh, go down to Walgreens and pick up some more reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it, uh, man. That was uh, that was an incredible Villanova performance the other night, uh, oh. Ernie. So, walk me through what you think um, needs to be done against Villanova by Michigan tonight. Best you can tell here. Well, well Rich, I'm glad you asked because I do have a, a theory, a working theory okay. here, which I will again be espousing on our two hour pregame show beginning at seven o'clock Eastern time on TBS. Nice. Uh, uh, thank you. And um, so here it is. Uh, since we are in Texas, uh, in San Antonio, uh, both of these teams, I think, I think the best case scenario for Michigan is this: they have to play tonight like they played against Texas A&M, and hope that Villanova plays like they did against Texas Tech, uh, because in those games, uh, I mean, Michigan was all over A&M. And, and shot the three ball well, shot 62% for the game, never trailed in the game. Meantime, Villanova against Texas Tech went four for 24 from three. Uh, they shot 33%, still won that game, obviously, uh, won it by 12. But uh, I think that's kind of what it's going to take. I mean, Michigan's going to have to play uh, – uh, I'm not going to say a perfect game, but they got to be really, really good tonight. And they've got to, because defensively they get after you. And so I think if they can, if they can really limit uh, Villanova's threes, uh, then you got a chance. And here's the magic number is 18. Uh, because as you played in that clip, 18 threes made by Villanova in their last game, a mm. record. But you know how many threes Michigan has allowed in the tournament? Get out of here. 18. How about that? Yes, Michigan has allowed 18 threes in the tournament. Villanova had that many in the game the other night. So that's just a little something for you, Rich. Uh, uh, thank you for letting me espouse. My you. gosh. You're 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 the, a uh, chock full of theory. nuggets, Ernie Johnson. Chock full of nuggets. Yes, you sir. Are, you are ready. Mm-hmm. For, you are ready for tonight. And in terms of your your hosting role for that, what's the best story you've heard? What do you think is the best story, uh, or feature, or anything uh, of tonight's game? Uh, with uh, any of the players, coaching staffs, schools, what have you, Ernie, that you've, um, you've heard? Well, I mean, I, you know, I think uh, we're going to have a feature tonight on the on the Raleigh Massimino influence on Villanova and his influence on Jay Wright, and you, know, you go back to '85 and that incredible shooting night that Nova had uh, when they won the championship then. And so, um, uh, I don't know if there's any particular story, but I just think I think they're all good, and I and I think. I, when I think about stories in the, in the whole tournament, you know, you just you, from UMBC and and uh, Loyola Chicago and the great run they had. I mean, that's what it's like every year when you when you do this, and you suddenly you're talking about players that you really didn't know much about before the tournament started, and and uh, and that's what that's what makes it great. And and so we hope to put a finishing touch on this one as we did two years ago when we had it for the mm-hmm. first time, uh, you know, the game that came down to the ball in the air as the horn goes off and then uh, the celebration begins. So let's hope we have something rivaling what we had two years ago. And in terms of that Roley Massimino, Jay Wright, that's interesting. I look forward to that feature tonight uh, as part of your pregame coverage, seven Eastern time on TBS. Um, that yes. uh, <laughs> is that, um, you know, Jay Wright doesn't get mentioned often with Coach K and with Roy Williams. Uh, we had Coach K versus Jim Beheim in the in the mix in this tournament. 
the so-called blue bloods of NCAA tournament basketball, do you think that tonight Jay Wright, uh, regardless, win or lose, enters that pantheon right now? Yeah, sure, certainly. And, and I think one of the things about Jay, and uh, this is just what happens, uh, if, if you go through a, a bunch of times where – uh, maybe it's perceived as underachieving or not being able to break through a ceiling, you know, and only good enough to get this far, which kind of dogged him for a little while. And, and it was, yeah, he does that, you know, he's, he hasn't had the great success, but he's this great looking George Clooney kind of guy and he has the great suits. And, and then you get, kind of get lost in all that kind of a facade and, and uh, and I think he's shown that uh, yeah he belongs in that uh, in that elite company of of great coaches in the country. Ernie Johnson here uh, on the Rich Eisen show uh, going into tonight's game. So it's going to be you. Uh, we had Clark Kellogg on in the first hour, and you and Clark and uh, Kenny and and Charles. Is that the uh, mix this evening on TBS? That'll be the four of us, and and, and on a, a separate uh, separate set will be Greg Gumbel and Seth Davis. Okay. Uh, Jim Beheim, you mentioned, is going to join us in the first segment. Oh, great! Uh, and so we had him. Uh, we had him on. We had Mike Bray on the other day during our pregame festivities, and and uh, and that was fun because because you know what what happened with with me and Mike uh, <laughs> after the selection show. Mm. Did you were you aware of this? No, Ernie, go for were it. You, here's here's what happened uh, when we did the selection show. And we were revealing the 68 teams in the field alphabetically. Uh, it was my turn, and I and I said, "Now here, alphabetically, is where if Notre Dame's in the field, this is where they would show up." Oh, that's right. And Ohio and State I, and showed I up. Paused, right. That's right. And then Ohio State showed up, right. and so I got home. I got home that night, and I'm just you know doing some work in my office, and and uh, and I look on the Twitter, and and here's a tweet from a publication up in South Bend saying that it was Mike Bray's quote after talking about the disappointment of not making the tournament. And he said, and he said, well, and, and, you know, and I we're watching the selection show and here's Ernie Johnson and he has this dramatic pause and then we're not in. And so next time I see Ernie Johnson, I'm going to punch him in the face. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 uh, lo and behold, uh, the other day, my producer calls and says, "Yeah, Mark, Mike Bray is going to join us in the first segment." I said, "Well, that's good. We're going to have to talk about this <laughs> this punch." Uh, so, so we did, and we had a great time with it because I had I reached out to him that night on uh, on text, and I said, "Hey, I didn't." You're just doing your job. You're doing your job. You're setting scenes. You're you're creating drama. You're doing what you. Yeah, I said. I said there was no yeah. no ill will or anything on my part, and then he texted me the next morning and was saying, "Hey." Uh, obviously, uh, I was I was joking mostly, and, uh, <laughs> and so it was mostly it was fun. And, I like and it. it, and it, and it and, yeah, he's great. Oh, he's Mike Bray's great, and, and and it was uh, it was very fun to have him there. And our our guys in the paint box had a had a, a picture of, of Mike Bray with boxing gloves delivering a right cross to my jaw, and so uh, you know it was all fun. See, and that's one of the things that makes you so great, Ernie, is it's never about you, um, you know, and that's why I, you know, always enjoy talking to you, try to aspire to be more like you in my role. I would have said just oh, anywhere but the face. No, anywhere come but on, Rich. I would have said anywhere but the face. Anywhere but the face. This is my moneymaker. <laughs> that's what I would have That's how I would have responded. That's why, that's, you know? That's why I don't play pick up, that's why I don't play pick up basketball anymore because if I uh, you know if I take an elbow to the chops then uh, yeah. then the next job you hear you hear from me will be go ahead pump 3 you're ready. You know, that <laughs> hey, sounds like a guy who used to be on sure. <laughs> Well, Ernie, uh, look forward to tonight's coverage. Really do. I've enjoyed it uh, immensely to to this point. And just, you know, again, if you're we're on uh, the postgame show and it's Villanova and Jay Wright's there, just be gentle. Just know that there's a bunch of us out there that'll be uh... – oh, ask him the poll question. Ask Ernie's perfect for this poll question here, uh, Brock. All right, do you want to set Ernie up with yeah, our contest Ernie, uh, here? Our contest but, but that this I – But, but this will be – Jim Nance will be talking if, if – if he's awarding the championship, no, you're trophy, no, no, Jay you're right on the post game. You're on the post game. What I'm saying is, you know, for okay. those for those okay. of us who are just you know junkies so, that even so after we lose, the poll question. here's the poll question. Right. Okay, uh, Chris Brockman, my on air producer and compadre, and Mike Del Tufo, who's our audio executive who barely pays attention to the program. Uh, we all uh, put in our um, our brackets, <laughs> and whoever loses must wear clown makeup for the entirety 
of tomorrow's three hour show. Unless, uh-huh. unless any of what? my children who have been in the competition, I had my nine, seven, and four year old daughter fill out a bracket this year. If yep. we lose to any of them, then all three of us must wear clown makeup. And if my seven year old did what I did not do, which is choose Michigan to win it all because I just didn't want to jinx them. So if Michigan yeah. wins, then I must wear clown makeup throughout tomorrow's show with my other compadres. Ask him the poll question, Chris. Yeah, Ernie, what should Rich be rooting for tonight? A Michigan win or to not wear clown makeup tomorrow? Ernie, I look to you for advice. He should be rooting for a Michigan win. Okay. There you go. And Ernie joins the yeah. 83%. Who- <laughs> Also say that, yeah. but clown makeup, yeah. Ernie. I mean, for three okay, hours. That's a little, fr- you know. It, that's kind of, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's it's icky. Mm. You know, I, I just, and I, you know, I've got one of those clown things too. You know, one of those <laughs> clown. Are you clown one of those Clown fears. Yeah, I'm one of those clown fearing kind of. You know, I can look at it for a couple of seconds, and it's like, hey, stop, okay? So, uh, no, but but I think. Okay. I think you can't you can't help but root for your for your alma mater. I look forward to it, Ernie. Do, Thanks, brother. Always appreciate having oh, you. By on. the way, yes. In my in my bracket, by the way, mm-hmm. I I still like Michigan State over Arizona. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what, what I had. <laughs> 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 so you oh, do Good thing you're not in our competition because my four year old would be beating you right now, Ernie. That's the way these <laughs> my things wife go. And my, my wife and my oldest son are both beating me in my in my That's amazing too, how that so works. It's going Ernie, to be a long year. Have a great time tonight. We'll be watching. Rich, thanks, man. Great talking. You got it, as always, at Turner Sports EJ on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.